The Gold Owls is back with my favorite picks and locks of NFL Week 6. Excited about these picks this week? Play along in the comments. Let me know what you guys are going with for this week. Which games stand out the most? Let's take a look at what I got. I have two locks this week against the spread. If you want picks for every game this week with a score prediction, check out this video right here. It's up on the channel. But yeah, I went with the Lions minus 3 against the Cowboys and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers minus 3.5 against New Orleans Saints. The Lions picks apparently bold. A lot of people going with the Cowboys this week, and I think that's a trap to follow the Cowboys. I think people are kind of falling for the trap that they're getting a lot better. They are getting a little bit better on both sides of the ball, but that, that's where it's an issue going against the Lions. Where they're getting better on offense is the running game. They're feeding Dowdle. He's kind of their feature back now. It's great. I think he's underrated. The Lions are so good stopping the run. They are very, very good stopping the run. And the Cowboys' defense looks a lot better. But They played the Giants, who are decent. The Giants, and then last week, the Steelers, who are really struggling even when they were winning on offense. The Lions may very well have the best offense in football. I think the Cowboys... Uh, run defense issues will pop back up as they're playing David Montgomery, Jameer Gibbs. I also think the passing game will work for Detroit. Uh, you know, they'll expose the weakness at corner besides Trevon Diggs. I think they get Laporta going. They're going to be feeling this game. It's a really good match for the Lions. They feel like they got screwed last year in this matchup. They're going to get revenge as they probably should have won that game, even though the Cowboys played well enough to win that game and they deserved it as well. Off topic, this year, Lions are much better, in my opinion. I'm going to take them. I don't care that the game's in Dallas. It doesn't really change much uh, for either team in this type of uh, environment here. So I, I really like Detroit. I think they win big in this one. Bad matchup for the Cowboys. But the Cowboys should score points, though. But I had a Lions scoring 34 in my score predictions video. Buccaneers, minus 3.5. That was – they were plus 2.5. And, and I was all over that from the start because uh, – and it was down at plus 2.5 while Derek Carr was supposed to play. I don't think it matters what quarterback's in there. It matters a little bit. Obviously, it helps the Buccaneers now that the rookie quarterback spent some rattlers in, but the matchup never favored the Saints. The Saints rely on having the run game involved and staying in the game, meaning they're in the game still. They're not down by so much where they can't run the ball, but the Buccaneers are very solid stopping run. They're not so great against the pass, but they're very solid stopping the run, and they're playing a rookie quarterback. They're a very good blitzing team. They're going to blitz the rookie quarterback. They're going to stop the run, which should be a big factor when you have a rookie quarterback back they're gonna have a really good game plan and the offense looks tremendous right now and you can move the ball through the air on the Saints defense you can't really move the ball on them in the red zone but I think the Bucks will do enough I think Chris Godwin has a pretty big game for them uh, you know the only scary thing is the Bucks defense or offense slipped up one week it was against the best defense they played the Broncos the Saints got a pretty good defense even though you can move it through the air that's the only scary part but man Spencer Rat I would like it if Derek Carr was playing, but Spencer Rattler's in a rookie quarterback. Bucks blitz. They stop the run. They have really good offense. It's very predictable man coverage for the Saints. So I like them as well. I wish it was three rather than three and a half. That hook's a little scary, but I like it. They should win big, but I think both these teams should win big. I actually think the Lions win by more. My straight up locks of the week. I have three of them if you want picks for every single game from three different people. Check out this video, our weekly pick show up. Show goes up every Tuesday, but I got the Texans against the Patriots. I love me some Drake May. This is going to be tough getting thrown in against the Texans. The Texans don't really blitz, but they blitzed against Caleb Williams. So you have kind of one game of tape to go off of that. It's like, what are they going to do? It's a big mind game, and they're going to blitz another rookie quarterback, I believe, and they're going to throw them off, and they have a good defense. They have a solid offense that should be productive. The Texans should win that game. The Eagles off a of bye, getting healthy, going against a mess of a Browns team. The Eagles, people might be a little too confident with them scoring a lot of points in this game. The offense hasn't clicked fully. It should be better in this game because they get healthier, but defense has gotten better overall. I do not expect the Browns to be able to do enough damage in this game at all. I could see the Eagles winning a close one at, at the very close, at the very worst. They also could win in a uh, you know big. That line keeps going up. I wouldn't take them against the spread. It's up to 10, I think, now. It was at 8.5. This is just straight up. I'm that confident with the Lions, which might seem a little bold. I'm very confident with them winning. Uh, very good match for them. I think they possibly have the best offense in football, the best running game in football. Uh, and the defense, I know it slipped up against Seattle, but defense has had some good moments. They stopped the run very well. So I like those three games. I considered the Falcons because they're going against the Panthers, but the Panthers could have success on offense in that game. I think it's very, very likely the Falcons win, but there is a, you know, there, there is an, a slight issue in there. Uh, in comparison to these games here. So I went with these three for my straight-up blocks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss any of our NFL content. We have loads of it every single week. It would be much appreciated if you could join us. But my over-under 
pick of the week, and I got I just got one. We're gonna go under 36 and a half on the Pittsburgh versus Vegas game. The Steelers defense is stout. I don't care who's at quarterback for the Raiders. Where the Steelers defense has been slipping up very slightly because they're still holding teams, but that is the run defense. The Raiders have the worst running game in football, so I don't see where they really get going enough. I don't think the Steelers can do enough either going against Max Crosby, a, a defense that can create some clutch plays. I think they'll get going enough to win the game, but you know, Crosby coming after Fields could could cause some issues there. I think Fields is bound to have you know some bad games come up here. He hasn't really had a full you know full bad game yet, but uh, I think chances are this both teams are struggle to score. I think there there is a chance the Steelers could score, but I just don't think the Raiders can do their part to hit that over. So that's why I like the under. I had a sixteen to ten prediction on that one. So easily hitting the under if it's anywhere around that score, which I'm expecting it to be. I did like some team overs. They they. Bump, they got bumped up though. Uh, I, I like the Niners over 25 and a half. That went up to 26 and a half. It's a little scary. Could they just continue to, could, uh, could they focus on running clock against Seattle? Uh, you know, same thing with the Lions. I do like the Lions to get over 26, 27 and a half, whatever it is, but there's a, there's a chance they just run, 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 and the Lions get exposed on the ground and the clock just drains. And the Lions have those classic Lions drives where it just drains the whole clock. They've done that before in the games that they're confident in winning. Um, you know, so they're not afraid to hit the brakes when they know they're going to win. So uh, there are some flaws with those games, but, and you know, the Ravens commanders, there's probably gonna be a lot of running the football, which means draining the clock. So it's a little tough to pick the overs, even though they look appealing at first on that one. This is my favorite one of the week, uh, here at, uh, under 36 and a half. Here's an option for a teaser and a parlay for you guys. You can tweak them if you want. If you're a little more confident with something else, of course, we have more picks like this uh, throughout the week and leading up to the games up to Sunday on our Twitter. So make sure you check that out. Link pinned in the comments for that. Teaser of the Jags plus 10. Getting a little scary at my Jags upset pick because they have their flight got delayed. The Bears have been there, but Jags seem to be good in London. This is the time of the year where they start to click and go. So I actually have them winning. But it's going to be really close. I do think that's a little bold. But you can bump that up to plus 10. It should be a close game uh, in that one. The Broncos are already getting three points. So you can bump that up to around seven or eight. It looks pretty good. We, you know damn well. I picked the Chargers. But you know damn well that Chargers-Broncos game is going to be close. Defensive battle. And I put the Bucks plus four here. The Sa- I'm confident with them over the Saints. Uh, how will they be against the Saints defense? That's the only question. I think they'll be fine. And they'll have chances to score on defense, really. Uh, but the offense has been solid. I think they'll be successful through the air, and the defense should turn over Spencer Rattler. They can take away the run, and that just disrupts the Saints. If you take away the Saints run or you slow it down, they're in shambles. Like They don't know what to do, so that's kind of the flaw with their system. I did have the Falcons originally but I liked, uh, instead of the Bucks, but I do like the Bucks a little more. There's a chance the Falcons going, you know, into uh, you know maybe bad weather over there in Charlotte and the Panthers could score on them so I do like the Falcons though but those three are my favorite if we're adding points here uh, or you could drop uh, Texans down to a minus one perhaps I thought about that as well and then parlay uh, the Lions have pretty good odds in a parlay uh, using them as a money line in a parlay here so and I was pretty confident with them so I'm gonna roll up my gut my feeling and just my knowledge here of uh, how teams match up. Uh, and then I'm going to add the Texans in there. I thought about the Eagles, but the odds are pretty terrible. If you just do these two in a parlay because the Lions won so good, uh, you get positive. Uh, you get plus money here. So Lions and Texans is what I got. Last week we hit the teaser uh, fairly easily. And then the parlay, we we had Packers Seahawks. The Seahawks surprisingly let us down in that one. But the teaser worked out last week. Um, so let me know what you guys are taking with uh, between those or if you're tweaking or if you have your own already made. I'm very curious to hear in the comments. Favorite touchdown picks, and we're always tweeting out my prop picks for every single week. And the primetime games have been on fire this year, so check us out there. But anytime touchdown, Derrick Henry, got to put him up there. Dave Montgomery, these are, these are touchdown machines. Got to put him up there. I mean, I think Gibbs probably scores as well, but those are my favorites. I'm going to put Bijan up here. It might seem bold because it's been a, a struggle for him, really, but... Playing the Panthers, a Panthers team who uh, can't stop anything on defense, but they're really bad, you know, against the run. You can see if you watch the Falcons Bucks game, the run's not working at all. The Bucks are really good stopping the run, but they keep trying to run on first down. They're insisting on getting the run game and Bijan going, and it's not working. And then they'll insist on that this week, and they'll and they'll have Bijan punch at least one in here. And then Jamar Chase should score on Sunday Night Football. He's been on fire, absolutely on fire. Should score against the Giants. I like some of these just as much, even though they're positive 
uh, you know, plus money here. You can do a single bet with these touchdown options. Chris Godwin, I think, matches up very well against the Saints. You know, man coverage, he'll run away from that, playing in the slot. Juju went crazy, actually, against the Saints on prime time. And Godwin and Juju are very, very similar style receivers, like in, in terms of uh, they play, they're like a little bit bigger body slot receivers. Uh, but Godwin's a million times better, we know that. And he had three games in a row where he scored, and now he went cold for two games. He's due on top of liking the matchup. I think Sam Laporta scores. He's been underwhelming and uh, with stats, but he hasn't scored yet either. You know, I think they they finally get him. I mean, he was dealing with a little bit of injury. I think they get him going. This is the game. The Cowboys gonna be so worried about the run. The Lions will still be effective on the ground, but it's gonna be run, 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 play action. And when you go play action, when the Lions go play action, the best guy to go to is Laporta in the red zone. I bet you he scores on play action. So I actually really like Godwin Laporta. Tank Dell is a little bit more of a flyer than those, but remember Nico Collins is out. Tank Dell is all quickness, speed. Patriots run a lot of man coverage, so I think he'll be able to separate there. But uh, I like a single bet on Godwin, a single bet on Laporta. Love that. You know, a little bit of money, it's fine. Um, you'll pair Henry and Montgomery together. If you want to throw one more, I'm kind of feeling Bijan. If you're a little more comfortable with Chase, I know there's some other obvious ones out there. Uh, Saquon maybe, but it could be a little more of a defensive game than people think. But these are the ones that stand out to me right now. Now time for my college football lock of the week. We added this a couple weeks ago. We are 2-0. and Both times we went against Purdue. Illinois taking on Purdue this week. That line has been bumped up quite a bit. I think they still cover, but it's quite bold. This is up to minus 23. So a little bit of points there. I'm going to go with Miami of Ohio this week. Minus two and a half against Eastern Michigan. Miami of Ohio, believe it or not, is one in four. And that's why we're getting really good value with, with this line here. They're one in four. Eastern Michigan is four and one. They both play in the MAC, obviously. But Miami of Ohio has had one of the toughest schedules there is. They played Northwestern really tough. They played Cincinnati extremely tough. They played Notre Dame really tough. The only MAC loss they have is Toledo who looks like the best team in the MAC right now. Eastern Michigan looks pretty explosive on offense, but they have not played much. The only team they played was Washington and they got destroyed uh, by them. So I thought by them. So I thought Miami of Ohio was much more tested. They actually competed in their big games. I took Eastern Michigan against Kent State the other week because I think Kent State is the worst team in college football. And uh, they covered, but they gave up a lot more on defense than I thought. I think Miami of Ohio is a very talented team. They're going to be able to score a ton of points in this game. Uh, I think they win fairly big, and they're only minus two and a half. I think the line, again, the line's so low is because the team's record. They're very skewed right now, but. Um, I love how Miami of Ohio is tested. I do think they're the much better team. They were actually the favorites to win the MAC going into the year. And, you know, maybe that's a team like Toledo now. There's a couple other options there. But it's mainly kind of not being talked about now just because their record, but they've played such tough teams. So uh, I do like them a lot in this game. And then we always have picks, bets of the week for our Twitter slash X subscribers. We hit two weeks in a row on the parlay. And I have more picks than just Miami, Ohio this week. So check us out out there. Subscribe to get those bets, those extra picks, and some uh, a little bit more content even for the NFL throughout the week. But that'll wrap it up for the Locks video this week. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Check out our weekly pick show, score predictions video, and a lot more we have on the channel. Always adding more. Going to be adding more trade videos as we get closer to the deadline. Have a Devontae Adams video already up. But that'll do it. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Goodbye.